In this video, we're going to see some features of the quality control mode with GCLC concordance software. This mode allows you to compare the chromatogram of a sample at the top of the screen compared to reference chromatogram at the bottom and to control the concentration of each component. It allows to identify the components which are in more or less than the original. A significant expansion of these two chromatograms shows the complexity of treatment since with this fragment we have about 160 peaks. Both chromatograms come from a chromatograph but few days apart, so the retention time of these components are almost identical. We'll see now how the software GCLC Concordance will check these two products. We'll enter a standard method that we call test. Then the name of the operator. Then the title of the analysis that will appear on the report. By double-clicking in the sample column, we'll select the directory where the sample is. We save the method and we launch the treatment by double-clicking on the line. That's it, the treatment is done. We set the software to see all the peaks above 0.1%, so we only see at the moment the 85 peaks in the sample above 0.1%. The top chromatogram is represented by dashes corresponding to the surface of each peak. The reference chromatogram is at the bottom of the screen and the intermediate zone in the center represents the correlation between each peak of the two chromatograms. We know that all of the peaks are consistent with ex the exception of two. We can see them in a zoom mode. And we will understand why the treatment did not want to accept the correlation of these two products. If we go back into the image of the chromatogram and we expand the area at the location of the defect, we find that we have two distinct products. We return to the graph now and ask for a printed report with only differences found between the sample and the reference. Voila, we've got short report. So in this part of the peaks identified out of tolerance as we set a tolerance on the surfaces between the peaks of the sample compared to the reference. We have three peaks which exceed the threshold set in the sequence. And we have two products that are not consistent and are in the missing peaks part of the report. We'll see now how we could see the peaks higher than 0.01% by simply adding a zero in the limit of the sequence. Voila, we save again the sequence and we launch another treatment. You can see that it's very easy to change parameters of the sequence. And now we can see 162 peaks on the sample. We note here that on the sample we have a very small additional peak which is 0.068% which is not present in the reference. Also on the reference we have another small peak at about 45 minutes which is 0.044% and which is not in the sample.
Both chromatograms, which were recorded at intervals of a few days, do not have large gaps between the retention times of their components. Now we are going to show another example comparing two chromatograms with retention time. Distance is important for the same compound since on the last peak we know the peak shift of a retention time of three minutes. Now it's not possible to compare the two chromatograms by overlapping. We'll see how the software will treat these two chromatograms in two seconds. So we continue with the same sequence. We get the chromatogram PAR0043 that we compare to the reference PAR0046R. We save the sequence and launch the treatment by double clicking the line. As the treatment is a bit more complex, calculation will be one or two seconds longer, but we now see that all peaks accords well, with the exception of these same two products. The system didn't make any mistake in the concordance on these two products, which are really different in these two chromatograms. There is much more information to give on the use of the possibilities of this graphic mode, like the abscissa and ordinate expansion, or like the fast searching of visual anomalies. or also the possibility of manually matches, etc. We'll see again a bit the graphic page to see the equation, which is a polynomial equation of order 5, to compensate these variations between these two different chromatograms, certainly a change of the column between the two measures. The small red dots at the top of the frame allow you to visualize the distribution of common peaks detected automatically by the software. It enables to calculate the nonlinear drift between the two chromatograms in order to recalculate the exact position of the compounds in the chromatograms of the sample compared to the reference. Just before completing this presentation, I will show you something which could be interesting for you. The comparison of a chromatogram in relation to all the chromatograms in a directory on uh, your computer. We'll take the reference directory and save the sequence. Well, and we'll request another treatment. The chromatogram is now compared to all the chromatograms of the reference directory. The treatment retrieves possible variation that can be found at the retention time of each chromatogram and will put them in a PDF file depending on their similarities. The system is a bit slower because the video is running and because the treatment requests in this case a lot of resources on the, on the computer. This is done. The PAR0041 was compared to 22 chromatograms, which were in the reference folder. And so here you can see the classification of chromatograms according to the correlation found on this product. Thank you for following this presentation of some features of GCLC Concordance software.